Today we have more filament to review, this time from a company called Rigid.Inc. They're based in the UK. Let's check it out. Rigid Inc. have sent me two samples of their PLA and opening the bag we have silver and the colour gold. We also have a product leaflet showing us printing temperatures and so on and also a bag of candy. Yes, I can be bribed with candy. Whenever I'm asked to do a filament review, normally I'm sent full spools to test. So when this came in the mail, I was a little disappointed. But you'll notice the free sample sticker on the bags. And checking the website, it looks like anyone can request free samples. But they also sent me some candy, so that makes it okay. Taking a closer look at this plastic, we can see the surface has a semi-gloss finish to it, which is in between a full gloss and a matte finish. And also, it looks like the actual material has a, a very slight uh, sparkle to it, or it looks like it has a rough texture, and that's just uh, dispersing the light, but the texture feels smooth, so this is going to be quite interesting when printing a part. And the silver does look silver, it has that nice semi-gloss, quite bright shine to it. But looking at the gold, it kind of looks more like a bronze, so I don't know, let's see what happens once we extrude this plastic. And just checking the tolerance of this filament, this is 1.75 millimeter. So using my digital calipers, we can test the tolerance, 1.75, pretty much bang on. And also, as these are samples, I'll have to choose what I print wisely. So just checking the weight here, approximately 30 grams. And here is the low poly tabletop swordsman. This thing is absolutely tiny. I only printed this at the 100% scale. The uh, author of this product recommends 150% scale depending on the configuration of your printer. And I don't blame him, this thing is absolutely tiny. I'm surprised that all the detail has come out in this piece with my nozzle being 0.4 millimeters in diameter. I think a smaller nozzle, say a 0.25, would really do wonders on a piece this small. But as you can see, it printed just fine and I'm really happy with the finish of this part. Now, I was worried that I wasn't gonna have enough uh, plastic to print anything you know worth showing you guys but this thing weighs about two grams so I think I could print a whole fleet of these with the plastic that I have. So for the silver colour that's come out really nice. I do like this bright coloured silver colour. It really does make the part look quite special. There were very little to no strings in between all the uh, detail of this part. There was a lot of retractions for a part this small, but it seemed to handle them just fine. Um, I did notice some very minor inconsistencies on the z-axis, and I think that's probably something to do with my printer rather than this plastic, of course, because I was printing this at 0.08 millimeter layer height, which is the finest uh, printing that I've ever done with this Prusa i3 uh, printer. But I think for the next test piece, using the gold slash bronze coloured plastic, I might print the Dwarf Axeman uh, at 150% scale because I think this is probably a little bit too small for my printer configuration. Thank you. 
Here is the low poly tabletop dwarf axe man printed in the gold slash bronze PLA plastic. And just like the silver, the detail has come out really nicely on this part. I am happy with the way that this PLA plastic prints. You can see there's no uh, discoloration throughout the print. It's a uniform color all the way through. And this is more of a bronze than a gold. I'll, I'll definitely call it a bronze. But if I shine it in the light just right, I wonder if you can see that. It's actually a lot brighter on facing it from this direction rather than uh, this direction here. So that's an interesting uh, feature for this plastic. Now there were a few more strings on this piece rather than with the silver, but I think that's more than likely down to the, the amount of retractions that this part had, especially up at the uh, the Dwarf Man's horns. There was quite a lot of strings that I had to cut away. But just like in a previous video where I printed the Batman piece, it was exactly the same. It's because a 0.4 millimeter diameter nozzle, trying to print these very tiny features and retracting all the way through, I, I don't think you can, you can get away from that. But um, I'm really happy with the finish of this piece. And at 150% scale, which is what this one is, I think that's, that's, that's a perfect size for this item. Thanks to Rigid.Ink for sending me this filament to review. Be sure to check out their website and request your free sample of PLA or ABS plastic. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, especially comment. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you next time.